It's actually a great question, more than happy to answer it. So I leave that small gap near the nodes of the stair so I can tuck my carpet underneath so it doesn't pull off free. If you put the gripper to the end of the nose, the carpet just wears on the wood and won't last as long, especially in the walkway or corner piece of the turn stair. And moving over to the other side, it's more of the same really. I'll just leave that gap just again because I think it gives a much better finish on the install. And into the corners, the same again, just so I can tuck that carpet into itself. So yeah, just moving over to the other side of the turn stair, just yeah, more of the same really. I mean, if you want to get a really nice turn stair and you're just starting out or maybe you're an apprentice, you can actually grip her down the left and right hand side of the stair. This in turn will allow your carpet to sit proud so it doesn't dip in which is one of the ugliest looking things when doing turn stairs and I see it every single day. But yeah, moving on, just more of the same. Hopefully that answers your question. Like and follow for more flooring videos.